What's going on YouTube and Gadang775? I'm back with another video and today I wanted to go ahead and give my thoughts um, some random opinions of mine that I got stuck in my head and don't mind that sound, that was my cat They're messing around and stuff back there but let me give some thoughts about Mass Effect Andromeda um, you folks know Mass Effect Andromeda said they're pretty much done with adding single player content and then updates for the single player and I am extremely disappointed now, they did get a lot of backlash, and they did mess up things a lot, and a lot of people came down on them hard. I think a lot of it was over overrated, I guess, the oh, what do you call it, more of an overreaction, but that's how the gaming community is. They go in, I mean, you, you piss off the gaming community just a little bit, and you get some people going, just go in full balls to the wall and just wanna, want them to go out of business and whatnot. And, you know, I'm kind of torn on this because I spent a lot of time on Mass Effect, okay? Well over 100 hours on Mass Effect Andromeda. So, I beat the game. And I the first playthrough, I, I took about 60 to 70 hours, maybe 80 hours to play through. Then I started a new game plus to go and get everything else I missed. And I can tell you what, the beginning is slow. It is slow. The first few hours of the game is slow. Once you get off that planet and you start pilot, you know, um, planet jumping, um, then it starts to pick up. I mean, I followed through with everyone's uh, what you call that side story, all your all your followers' side stories and whatnot, and it makes a difference. I really got into the characters, as with all the Mass Effect um, characters from Mass Effect One, Two, and Three. Now there is slight hope. Um, Casey Hudson, he he loves Mass Effect. He's the original um, person who directed um, the first three Mass Effect and the older Knights of the Old Republic games. Okay, he's back. Okay, I really love the first ma three Mass Effects. You know, the first one was kind of repetitive, kind of like this one, but this was a more um, fast-paced, I guess, Mass Effect one. That's what it felt like. You know, if they made it, streamlined their performance to make it like Mass Effect 3, or Mass Effect 2 even, Mass Effect 2 was pretty smooth, the gameplay. If they streamlined the performance in, like, between Mass Effect 2 and Mass Effect 3, this game was like that. And it did feel a little monotonous driving around all over the place, you know, in, in your little, in, oh shoot, what they call that? <laughs> your little rover machine thing. I, I played the game so damn much, but the thing is, I got so many... Yeah, I got so many things on my mind. I can't remember the name of it. The Mass Effect vehicle. You drive around. It does get monotonous after a while. Especially if you cross vast landscapes. I mean, really huge landscape. Um, planets. You have to drive all over the planets. Now, I don't mind that. It's just a lot of people get tired of that kind of thing. So maybe if they kind of shrunk it down a little. You know, and the gameplay. It's played very similar to Dragon's Age Inquisition, you know, and that's another game I, I spent a lot of time playing. I spent well over 200 hours in Dragon's Age, okay, and it's coming up 200 hours on Mass Effect Andromeda. As you can tell, I love single player um, gaming experiences, which is why I pitched an idea in my other video for to Microsoft, hopefully they listen and com combine some of the best single player games out there into one and make it their own. Now it's up to them, but... <sighs> but... Casey Hudson, uh, he tweeted out saying that he he sees no reason not to go back to Mass Effect in the future. And if that means he's coming back to, to, to finish off the Mass Effect Andromeda DLC, which would be great, especially for people like me that Played through the story, not once, twice, okay, twice. I'm on the second playthrough, and I'm about more than halfway through the second playthrough. I'm waiting for that Corian DLC to resolve that Corian, um, the dilemma in Mass Effect Andromeda. I really wish they, because I'll be a day one purchaser of that DLC, because I know there's a lot of people out there that are waiting to get that DLC, and my alarm went off. <laughs> But I know there are a lot of people out there that will get it, this, despite hating, you know, 
what they said they hate. You know, I was lucky. I never ran into any of those, you know, facial animation or jankiness, whatever. There was a couple moments there that I got stuck or something or something happened. I had to, you know, it crashed. But never to the point, I mean, all RPG games crash. My Fallout 4 crashes, Fallout New Vegas crashes. Oh my gosh, Fallout New Vegas. I just got it for the PC because I wanted to play it on Steam with all the mods and stuff. And that thing crashes like crazy. I mean, I thought, you know, modding the mods on the Fallout 4 for the Xbox One. I got the limit. I'm like right at the limit of all the mods I got maybe what 90 megabytes left of free space of mod space that I can use and my Fallout 4 game doesn't crash as much as my Fallout New Vegas now I'm still learning I'm still new to Nexus mods Nexus mod manager and whatnot so balancing the mods and installing mods is a little bit more complicated than it is on the Xbox I mean it's so easy on Xbox you just pick a mod and it'll line itself up for the most part sure you can move it around you know you, you kinda look at the mod notes but when you're on the PC, you have to extract the file, put it in this file and whatnot. It, it, it's it's too confusing, which is why I like to play console. Okay, I do love to play console. But I'm getting off topic, getting on topic. Mass Effect Andromeda. Don't die yet. Come back, do a DLC, then come back. After after that DLC is done, wipe the slate, uh, like the slate. Wipe the slate clean, start fresh. New characters come back and do a totally new, brand new Mass Effect. That something other than what's it called? I, I'm glad they didn't show any of those, you know, those tentacle, the Reaper <laughs> tentacle, <laughs> tentacle aliens, the Reaper guys. I'm glad they didn't have any of the Reaper crap uh, in Mass Effect Andromeda. They went to a whole new enemy. I hope they do something like that. Do something similar, a new enemy. I don't know, like. And in the future, after everything, you know, and it'll kind of, and it'll show kind of a history of what happened with during Shepard and what happened with Ryder, you know, like them in the future, like 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 years later, into the future, something like that, you know. And you can go into like they have like museums and stuff in Mass Effect. You can go and and read up on history about what happened with Ryder and what happened with Shepard, you know. Start fresh. Start with new characters. My, that's my hope for Mass Effect Andromeda. Um, let's see, what else? And look, I've played a lot of Mass Effect Andromeda, so I can actually say a lot of people, they play 5-10 hours and they don't really know the full experience of Mass Effect Andromeda and they stop. And I understand why. A lot of people have high high standards nowadays. Um, deservedly so. You're paying $60, but I think people are just... A lot of people are overreacting it, a lot of people not even trying it just because word of mouth. I mean, there's a lot of games out there that are really good that people don't even try just because word of mouth. So, yeah, it happens. It happens, but yeah. So that's 9775. That was just a quick, mass, my, my quick thoughts on Mass Effect and drama and what's going on. I just wanted to get that out there. But yeah, it's getting 775. I want to thank you folks for watching this video. If you like this video, hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel for more videos every few days. If you didn't like this video, hit that dislike button. Let me know in the comments down below. I do appreciate the criticism. It's getting 775. Thanks for watching. Out.